It's your boy Trick Daddy Dollars. This is another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pots. Now, today what I'm going to be cooking for y'all, I'm going to be cooking brunch. I know a lot of y'all motherfuckers out there probably say, oh, pork ain't good for you. And a lot of people with the slave mentality always talking about, oh, the pork parts that we grew up on was the throwaway parts. But I'm going to tell you like this. Give some good ass throwaway parts. I'll tell you, if I ever thought I... I never thought I'd be able to say this to the day. The, the pig ears, the pig feet, the hog maw, the pig tail. That's the best shit they ever throwed away. But the day we gonna eat the pork chop. You see, this is how I look at life. The oldest people in my family that are living be eating the same shit since back in the day. As soon as you change your diet, that's when shit go, go to break it down on you. Soon as you stop doing what you do, that's when shit go break it down on you. See, the women need to get here, go ahead and get start back getting control of the household. Stop letting your little kids tell you what they don't want, what they don't eat. You cook, a bitch eat, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of women, we gonna talk big about the women and women's rights and ability to say what they wanna say and do what they wanna do because as you know how I feel about the black man, I feel like after slavery, the black man treated the black woman worse than the, than the white man did. See, the white men loved the black women. The black woman was curvy, she could cook, she had taste, she had the cheekbones, hips, ass, titties, all the things that the white woman never had, the black woman had it. So they loved them. But the black men did all that say, did all that slave and all that sucker shit. And when they was free, the only people that they could beat up was their old lady. The only people that they could rule over was their old lady. So a lot of them get to the point where it's, it's to the point where now, oh, the woman, all the woman was supposed to do was cook and clean and have the babies and lay on her back. See, my mom raised 11 of us by herself. 11 of us by herself. And ain't near a nigga. Not my daddy, not none of my brothers and sisters, daddy, and now one of them niggas stepped up and, 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 and was a man. So as far as I'm concerned, women do have the same rights as men and always should have the same rights. You see, the problem with the world is we judge people and we're, we're, we're more aggravated about what people do that's different from what we do and how people view things differently than how we view it. When a lot of us need to get a hot dog stand and get our own fucking business and stop worrying about how another motherfucker look at life. Live your own life, because let me tell you this, I give not one fuck about how you feel about me. I'm gonna tell you right there. And I learned that from my mama. A lot of things that I learned, I learned from my mama. Now she ain't teach me how to cook. Now I'm gonna tell you right now, Pearl can't cook worth a damn. I'm gonna tell you right now, like my little brother Omar say, she put the wrong shit in the wrong shit. And I don't know how she started doing that, but God bless the day. My grandma made her way all the way from Florida City to the Poker Bean Project every holiday to make sure we ate good. Thank you, grandma, because I, I wasn't gonna eat that shit when Pearl was cooking. No disrespect to my mom, I love, I love her to death. I love her to death, but I'm gonna continue cooking these pork chops. I'm gonna make a little brunch out of it. Y'all y'all gonna be surprised at the come out. And we gonna keep talking that shit, all right? Y'all stay tuned. If you ain't subscribed, subscribe now. Hit that subscribe button and let them know, bitch, I got my pot. We'll be right back. I got my pot. I'm Tamara, and this is another episode of Trick Daddies. Bitch, I got my pot. Dirty Sprite 2 is double platinum, making it one of the highest selling southern hip hop albums of all time. But like I always say, artists sell more singles than full bodies of work. So here are the top five highest selling future singles of all time in the United States. Number five, Fuck Up Some Commas. It was released on March 3rd, 2015, and it went three times multi-platinum on June 10th, 2020. And this song screams freshman year for me. And you cannot go to any kickback club or cookout without hearing this song. 
Number four, Where You At featuring Drake. It was released on July 16, 2015, and it went four times multi-platinum on June 10, 2020. And Dirty Sprite 2 was already fire. Then he added the Drake blessing, and you know when those two collab that it's gonna be a hit, and this did not disappoint. For number two is another Canadian collaboration with Low Life featuring The Weeknd. It was released on February 5, 2016, and it went seven times multi-platinum on June 10, 2020. And clearly he needs to keep collaborating with Canadian artists because they're giving him the multi-platinum hits. You see the playlist. <laughs> Number two, Mask Off. It was released on February 17, 2017 and it went eight times multi-platinum December 1st, 2020. And during that time, Future was going through litigations with rapper Rocco. And all you saw in the media were the two throwing shots at one another, straight beefing. And even though they were going through that, he still managed to go eight times platinum. Even though he had controversial lyrics talking about mollies and perks. Mm, bad influence, but the song went hard. Number one, Life is Good featuring Drake. It was released on January 17, 2020, and it went 10 times multi-platinum on November 22nd, 2021. And the promotion for this song was outrageous. It was everywhere. And of course it's on the top spot because it was everywhere. And remember, this list is not an opinion. It is based on individual song sales in the United States. Facts, courtesy of the RIAA. And my favorite song by Future is When I Was Broke. What's yours? Jump in the comments and tell us. Either way, I'm Tamara and this is another Top 5 on Trick Daddy. Check out my pot. Check out my pot. Welcome back to Bitch I Got My Pots. The day where we gonna be cooking is some poke. That's right. Pork chop. We doing it breakfast style, for y'all don't know. I'ma smother them. Now before we went to the uh, break, we were talking about women and women right. And women white women right to be great and how the men need to do something they ain't never did before and start respecting the women. See, one thing about me, I was never into the older women. Old, old women, I don't want an old ass woman. I want me something young, something I can take care of and leave some shit too. Something that'll listen, cause a lot of the older women, they too stuck in their old ass ways. And then what they have done is, they have corrupted the young women, where they always busy. It's always about, you know, business this, business that. They wanna be strong, single, black, and independent. That's lonely, horny, and broke. I don't want no, I don't want me no young tender that's always begging and ain't bringing nothing to the table now. But, and I don't want to have to, have to take care of, but I want to be able to take care of, and I want her to appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? See, a lot of times, I go to thinking that the women be so busy with doing what they want to do that they forget about the men. Whatever you do, don't forget about the men. We are for each other, baby. And, all, and, and whatever that nigga did in your past to hurt you, don't let that determine your future. Don't let that determine your present. Leave niggas from your past in the past. The same reason why you broke up with that nigga, the same reason why you don't need to be speaking to that nigga, the same reason why you don't need to get no more pussy. See, y'all done gave a lot of niggas pussy that don't deserve pussy. Y'all is fucking niggas now because they got sections. Y'all fucking niggas now because they did a little PPP loan. Y'all fucking niggas now because they got the sweat. Y'all fucking niggas, y'all not even attracted to. And that's unattractive to me. See, I base my women off the quality of niggas that they had in their past, and I'm not jealous of your niggas. Because a lot of you women, what y'all realize is, when you make a mistake in life, you have to keep going. See, the path you walk determines your destination. Anything you do along that route, it's a part of your legacy. So don't do it if, you know, you can't live with it. And a lot of women like, well, I'm a grown ass woman. I ain't gotta tell my old man where I'm going. You don't, but you should want to. Unless it's somewhere he don't want, that he don't want you at. It's somewhere you think that you're supposed to be. Then yeah, you ain't gonna tell her. Cause you with your, you on your bald head whole shit. That's why it's a problem. The same reason why you won't get that nigga pass to fuck off every now and then is the same reason why you should have him thinking that you probably fucking off. What's the problem? 
And another thing, women, start hanging with women that's on your same level. Start hanging with women that's on your same level. A woman that can tell you when you're fucking up, when you're slipping up, when you're wrong. Not no bitch who will tell you to ride with them to go see a nigga, and when you get there, it's a nigga there for you. Them hoes giving your pussy away, you don't even know it. Yeah, we're finna get deep into this shit about men and women and this dick and pussy fight because, like I said, a lot of dudes lately have been getting pussy. They had they grow up in my area. They dick could be Sahara Desert dry. Y'all doing too much, women. Come back to earth. And when your song come on in the club, when that when that jump on the dick come on in the club, run to me and my homeboy dance on that. Stop dancing on them hoes. Y'all keep it locked right here. The bitch, I got my pots. I'll be right back. Yo, welcome back. This your boy Trick Daddy Dollars. This is another episode of Bitch, I Got My Pot. Today we've been talking about men's is and women's is. Yeah, men's is and women's is. So, I've gave a lot, you know, opinions like an asshole. And I always, always get on people's nerves a lot of times when I give my opinion. Because I'm a born Libra. That means I don't give a damn how you feel about my my opinions because they're my opinions they belong to me and, and a lot of y'all got opinions you no know, my next guest is a very talented female that has her opinion a lot of motherfuckers been getting offended by her opinions lately y'all give it up for the sexy miss i shine what's up baby I said your name right, didn't it? Yes, you did. And you look good. You look Aww, good. And this you. ain't no catfish. And she, <laughs> and she smell good. So y'all women out there be looking good on on paper. You better look good in real life. And you better smell good. Mm -hmm. You bring your ass on this show. So what's going on, baby? I'm here. I'm here, you know. From here. You got, I have to be here. You, you in Miami for how yeah. long? Well, um, I'm gonna be here for a few days. I really just pop in and pop out to be here. So you hear a lot, you know? Yeah. You know, back in the, in the 70s and the 80s, there was a lot of Jamaican women in Miami. Yeah, of course. And a lot of them come here, they don't be want to leave. You know what I'm saying? I love Miami. It's only an hour away. It's like literally an hour and a half away from Kingston, so I'm here often. That That's good. Yeah. So what you got going, you got a, you got a, you got a record. How did you get the record? With one of the biggest artists in the world. Ed Sheeran. How did you get that? How did you get that feature? Who you? Who you call? Who, who, who you call? Actually, I did a song. All right, how that came about? I did a song with Ed Sheeran like five years ago. Uh huh. Well, I did a song on a remix for one of his songs, Shape of You. Right. So I have a song called Equal Rights, and it's about oral sex in Jamaica. Men. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Men. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> hold it. Hold it. Not because I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna be honest. You know, I'm gonna keep it real tricky. You're a Libra and I'm a Libra, because right. I just heard you said you're a Libra. You know, right. I can talk my mind, right? Right. So I have a song about oral sex. You know, men giving oral sex, they don't want to give it in the Jamaican culture, but they want women to give it to them. Right. So basically, I did a song saying, equal rights. If you want it done to you, you got to do return the favor. And, but I'm, I'm yeah. even better than that. Yeah. You don't have to return the favor. <laughs> Oh, I'm, a I'm a pleaser. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm, I'm a pleaser. I swear to God. I swear to God. I am a pleaser. You don't have to do nothing. But the thing is, a lot of Jamaican men, they got mad because they're fake mad. Because they do it. I would, okay. They do it. Come on. Okay. So they were fake mad and they were bashing me. Anyway, long story short, five years later, Ed Sheeran did an interview saying that it's actually his favorite song. And he listens to it every day. He started singing it on the interview. Whoa. And it went viral. That's big. So because it went viral and, you know, everybody started reposting it. All my fans started reposting it. So I reposted it on my page, on my Instagram. And he DM'd me saying that he would give me the clearance. Because all these years, I didn't have the clearance. Because, of course, yeah, I didn't It was know. just like a dub play. Like. Yeah, I didn't have a clearance for it. I just did like a remix on the, tr right. on the rhythm, put it on YouTube. It went viral. I didn't right. have it officially out. So he gave me the clearance. His team contacted me. They gave me the clearance. And then when they when he emailed me, I actually sent him another one of my songs, and he was just like, "Listen, let's do a song, just like that." So right now, me I dance out Cinderella. It's a fairy tale story. That's big. Yeah. That's big. So the new single that we have together is called "Brace It," and it's doing very well. It got like three million, three, three million streams on Spotify in like 
a month, less than a month. So it's really doing good. We're getting ready to shoot a video and everything. So. Yeah, everything. Yeah, I mean, and I've been, I've been you following you. On, I, I've been following you on IG. Oh yeah. And, and yeah, you um, you fine as hell too. <laughs> and we need more women to speak up for women, cause you know I don't know if you realize, but now over here in this, in, in in what you guys call the states. Yeah. What I call the biggest corporation in the world. Funny? Well, I'm making gravy from scratch. Okay. See, you make gravy from scratch. Okay. See, I, I, I saute yeah. the onions. I add the flour. Mm -hmm. I add a little butter, a little um, it sesame oil. Real good. Oh yeah, and one thing about me, baby, and I'm a Libra and I'm a pleaser. Yeah. But anything I put in a woman's mouth, yeah. she's gonna love it, baby. I mean, literally love it. Well, that's so, that show smells good. I'm not gonna lie, can't wait for taste it. Yeah, but over here, now. over here in the States, mm -hmm. they got some dumbass people that decided to outlaw abortions. Mm -hmm. Pretty much take the rights from the women deciding mm -hmm. on their body mm -hmm. and on their life. See, me, my whole output on this is this. It's up to the woman to decide what she want to do with her body. It's it written, true? it's written in the fine prints of the book called Common Sense. You see, because a woman sleep with whoever she pleases while a man only sleep with whoever let her. Mm -hmm. So, with that being said, I'm trying to figure out how could they come to the conclusion that, oh, well, we're going to stop women from having abortions. And what made me really want to talk about it today was I was watching news and a 10-year-old sexual assault victim mm -hmm. was a sexual assault Victim, somebody in her, some some grown ass man, man. and her family got her pregnant, mm -hmm. and her her parents had to take her to another state to get an abortion, and now they're trying to scrutinize the lady who gave the abortion. They're trying to get the parents in trouble for traveling across the state to get the abortion, but why should she have to do that? Why, and why are y'all not concentrating? on the motherfucker that raped the little girl. Yeah, that's true. He should Y'all care more about the little girl having an abortion than y'all care about the fact that she was pregnant from incest. Yeah. And she's 10. 10 years old. You know, but that's the thing. I feel like with everything, women, like, they dictate to women what we should do, what we shouldn't do. Even with birth control, I don't see them giving men birth control pills. I think men, I think it needs to be, I think it should be, I think it should be a standard set. I think, I so. think it should be a limit set. And it should be some type of mental evaluation. And some type of educational um, test or something. No, where before you can even have a baby. Because a lot of women get, get stuck in the culture yes, okay. and, or they family and mm -hmm. what they don't oh my family don't believe in this and it's yeah, custom yeah. to us to do this and I agree when a lot of them brains is not bigger than a black ant dick you, this imagine how <laughs> this imagine how little a black ant is black ants about this big now imagine how big his dick is that's how big their brain is so why the fuck would they be sitting around trying to tell somebody that they, they, they need to have a baby from somebody that they're not gonna be with, somebody yeah. that they barely know, somebody that they're said, not in love with. The with. whole rape thing, and you know, and it's, it's like, there's different circumstances, you're not financial even, situations. Is there, right? Where you gonna stay at? You sure? already got, you already got women out here, right? I grew up on welfare, food stamp, wick. What's that you just? I put some um, caramel I'm brownie. I'm a chef in a yellow and a chef in a. I, I want you to cook for me one I day. Want, I was I was telling them that I wanted to make curry chicken for you one day. Okay, well you Real can come Jamaican back. Swag. You can come back and, and make that curry chicken yeah, for me. Yeah, cause I am a chef. Okay, you can come back and you you don't even gotta get no hotel room. I got some white lady to stay. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. But it's like you 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 you, you if it wasn't for world fair and food stamps. I don't know what my mama would have did mm -hmm. because I grew up with all my stepdaddies. And I didn't, at first I used to be thinking, oh, my mama got a boyfriend. Oh, this nigga gonna get my mama pregnant. Mm -hmm. She gonna leave. And I didn't realize what the consequences were. were. So mm -hmm. the projects were designed for the black woman to be raising black little girls and boys by themselves. Mm -hmm. That's true. 
cycle continues. If you had a if you had a man, if a man stayed at your house and you had a boyfriend, you had to leave the projects. Yeah. So before any of my mama baby daddy got comfortable, she got rid of their ass to make sure we had something to stay. And it, it's sad that the whole thing was designed like that, but I when I realized that, it taught me to be a better son. It taught me to be a better person. It, it taught me to, to realize a better. My mama never received child support ever in her life. Never received child support ever in her life. And with, with all that being said, where she come from, country town in South Carolina, and in a situation where one of her aunts had to bring her to Miami where my grandma was in a brutal relationship. Yeah. And I don't give a fuck of my family watching it and they act like, oh, why did I say that? Kiss my ass. They kiss the whole rest of the family ass. I'm telling the truth. That's what's wrong with black real. people. That's what's wrong with black people now. They're hypocrites. I just think women need to be treated better. I think that women well, also I think, I think need those to make, women are also brainwashed too. And women need to make better decisions. They need to make better to, decisions. Um, we're, pro we're programmed to think what we have been taught. And most men, they're the ones that made the rules back then. So we grow up with a particular mindset to be seen and not heard. You know, we grow up with a particular mindset for men to lead and we just follow. You understand? Right. So it's not a lot of women that actually step out and be like, listen, no, I have a voice. I have this to say, this is wrong. But most women that do that, they make history. They make, yeah. They're they, the ones that make history, the women that actually stand up and you and know, a lot, a lot of women, women, a lot of women do a lot of dumb shit. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, they try to, they troll on the radio and make a, and make a fool of themselves mm -hmm. on, on 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 video, right? They make a fool of themselves. You went viral by accident. Mm -hmm. Yeah, viral ain't something that you go on purpose. That's what I was. You saying. can make a fool of your fucking self trying to go viral. A lot of these women cut off their eyebrows and draw them back. Yeah, it's true. Right. But the thing is, when it's real, people feel it. They so you have to just keep it real. You understand? So, so, so listen to this, man. So they do all this, and and it don't create to impress waves. another female. Mm -hmm. That's I tell what you. I was saying. I was telling people that a lot of time women, like you know, people have things to say about plastic surgery and that. I'm gonna say you're doing all this to impress a man. No, most times women do things to impress themselves and other women. Like that's what we do it for. To be honest, like. I don't know any girl that's doing BBL to say, oh, I want men to look at me. No. They, right, and, 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 and it's kind of sad. It's <laughs> no. kind of sad because I'm gonna tell you why. We need to get back to the traditional days. We need, if you you have kids. Yeah, I have a okay, son. You have a son. Mm -hmm. My mama had a lamb, so mm -hmm. check this out. If, imagine if all my mama kids went somewhere different on the holidays, we wouldn't know each other. No. If my mama, if all my mama kids who got, all my mama got different daddies, all of them went to their daddy house, we were separated the whole family. Mm -hmm. No, we need to stop doing that. Which is true. We need to give the lady decision whether or not she want to have her of own ch child. And we need the man of Jamaica to admit that they like sucking pussy. Yes, love it. Y'all, y'all, y'all love sucking pussy. <laughs> I know when I go to thinking about when I go to thinking about sucking pussy, Them enjoy it. My heart go to beating fast. Yeah. And if you don't, if you don't like eating pussy. I'm not but mad listen, at you. My thing is this, Trick. I'm not, the thing is with me, I'm not saying like, oh, yeah, have to eat it or whatever. Now, my thing is if you want it done to you or if you're accepting it from your girl, it's either you believe in oral sex or you don't believe in oral sex. Me as a man. You can't pick and choose when to believe in oral sex, right? Me as a no. man. Is me as a man, I cannot imagine. I've been doing this so long. I lo this is one of my favorite things to do. I mean, this is one of my, I felt like it was, it was a part of me would be missing had I experienced this. This is one of my, one of my biggest accomplishments in life. One of the, my biggest things that I ever done. Yeah, kill me. I mean, I, before, oh I just don't understand for a man to not even be curious. Even when I watch porn, the most exciting part, it used to be girl on girl, but I tried that a few times and then the girls, they won't what? eat that bottom bread. You know, when they open a loaf of bread, they move the first two breads. They won't eat that. They'll eat some pussy, though, and they try to eat all the pussy. You go to sleep and wake up, they still fucking. <laughs> no, I'm not with that. They're trying to have all the sense, so I'm not doing that. Oh my God. I'm not doing that no more. So, I, when I watch porn, I like Audis, by the way. 
I, I mean, I don't like what's no. Audi? What's that? A Audi is a pussy, a fat pussy, like a camel toe. Mm -hmm. Like this, a Audi. Like a pussy, Mom, like with uh, Mom, with a print. Call that buff a Jamaican. Okay, buff. buff. I, I like the buff. I don't right, like. Buff. I don't like them. Okay. Look, the slick, look, the little girl shit. I don't like that. You don't like the bunny poop -poo. No, no, like I don't like. I like the. I like the buff poop. -poo. Right. <laughs> I like the. I like the pull on the poop. -poo. Why? I love the buff poop. -poo. And, and when I watch porn and I see the poop -poo getting touched or sucked, it's, it's like, right, yeah. oh my god. Yeah, well, that's good. And I, mean, I, I, I don't I just see nothing wrong with it. I feel like, I mean, why are men in Jamaica? Like, so I don't know what is this big problem because you were literally in your mother's belly for nine months and you came through her pussy. Like, no joke. Your head was all up in there. So. I think it's all about. I think it's all about them. Come on, top of China. I think it's all about being accepted and fitting in. It ain't a big deal. I, that's what I think it's about. And that's why when I did equal rights, it like really touched a lot of nerves. And even now, the song is like it, they're still like it's crazy. It's crazy. But let me get a plate. Right, I'm trying for us to eat too. Baby. I can't wait to eat to see. If they don't want to eat, we gonna we gonna eat one way or the other. <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> I, yeah, but we eat one I like way how you talk. But you're a Libra, so you're being fair, and right is right. Is I right love right. women. I my favorite food is mermaid. My favorite thing to do is eat pussy, and this, I am this the is CEO. What, grits? That's grits. I've never. This would be my first. You never ate grits, or you know. eat porridge. Yeah, yeah, we eat porridge. I, I don't even. But know. I'm not a porridge lover, though. I like. I, I only know porridge from Little Red Riding Hood. Really? I never. I don't know what the hell that is. Porridge is like really good. We I don't know. Food. I don't know what the hell that is. So you put the egg with the porridge. You put the. You gonna, I'm gonna give you a. Yeah, this is American really style. Breakfast. Yeah. yeah, American breakfast. Okay. This looks delicious. This is gonna be the best eggs I you ever had. I love how you did the eggs. Oh yeah, it's gonna be the best eggs you ever. I already told. What I told you. This Anything good. I put in your mouth, you gonna like it. First time eating grits, thanks to Trick Daddy. And we gonna do it right too, because you might go some places like them St. Louis niggas be putting that group that sugar on that grits. Y'all be commenting, get mad when I tell the truth. Sugar don't go on no goddamn grits. But the thing is, right with me, they have this thing in Jamaica called rice and peas, right? Mm -hmm. When I do my rice and peas, I add a splash of sugar in it and a splash of salt, so it kind of balance it gives a flavor so if yeah but they, they, they try to put sugar in the grits to make it taste like oatmeal oh no, uh, no, they, no. You don't no oatmeal that. is oatmeal yeah, porridge is porridge cream of wheat is cream of wheat just grits so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pray this over looks the food so good oh and i don't God. usually use i don't usually um lead in prayer but i'm gonna lead today i'm gonna lead today because i got stuff i'm gonna pray about today <laughs> So let me hold your hand so we can pray. Okay. All right, uh, Father God, thank you for the food we're about to receive. Thank you for everything. Thank you for keeping us out of trouble, keeping us out of harm's way because a lot of evil people in the world. Mm -hmm. Lord, please open the eyes of a lot of ignorant people out there in the world that really believe that my opinion or somebody else's opinion don't matter. Lord, for all the men that don't want to please their women, don't instill it in their heart, Lord. I'll do it for them. Thank you for the food we about to eat, God. In the name of God, I pray. Amen. Amen. Woo! I don't want nobody doing Hallelujah. nothing they don't do. But can I eat? You want orange juice or you want water? Huh? You want orange juice or water? I want orange juice. Orange juice. Okay, we need some cups, see? Can I get a cup? See, you eating with us today? See, CO don't eat. I can taste Pause. it. Right, yes, so wait, you can. No, you, no you go ahead and eat. Go you ahead sure? and eat, baby. Yes. I have no, nothing for you. You are nice, you are sweet. No, mm -hmm. sir. What up? Mm. Are you eating, see? Yeah. Only some. grits and eggs, huh? Yeah. I say, and the nice? Yes. And them eggs good. Cook? And them eggs good. God damn. I can't even taste nothing else. Do we have egg nice? They make eggs in um, Jamaica? It not taste so? Huh? It don't taste like that. <laughs> mm. So, I shine them. 
What's the beef with you and Bond T Killer? You got to talk about it. And the Prime Minister. There's no beef. There's no beef? Well, the thing is, all right, let's talk about Bounty Killer first. Let's talk about Bounty Killer. Big up Bounty Killer, straight, right? Big up Bounty Killer. You know, he did his thing. He is who he is. I'm not taking that from him. But when I did my song Equal Rights, mm -hmm. he was the one that jumped up the first and That's tried right. to build this whole campaign against my song, you know, bashing me, bashing my song and stuff like that. So, you know, I did a performance at Reggae Song Fest, which was last week. Right. So what I did was, I have a song as well about Andrew Holness, not in a bad way, right. in Single in Quarantine. That's the name of the song. And I was basically talking about in the pandemic, right. we were all on lockdown. So I was like basically saying I'm sexually frustrated. Ooh. So Andrew, you you owe me some. That's the prime minister. Yeah, that's the prime that's minister. So I had his so, I had his name in the song saying you owe me some because because of you I couldn't get no. You know what I mean? Oh. Oh. So at the performance, I did like a life size cutout cardboard with him. I thought you were gonna bring the life size cutout. I no, I didn't. Right, I should have right. I couldn't bring it on the plane. Yeah. So I did the life size cutout and I was dancing on the prime minister. So you know, of course. Everybody is gonna rave about that. And then I did Bounty Killer while I was performing my song Equal Rights. I also did a whining on him, but I actually whined in his, the face of the cardboard. With his picture. Mm. Ooh. Well, you know, Trick is on his way to Jamaica next week. Yikes. So, so you did. know, it's like a big thing right now, but there's right. no beef, just, it's a cardboard. It's a box, it's a paper. So you think you could do a record with Bounty Killer? I mean, I'm open. It doesn't matter to me at this point. Oh. I didn't bother anybody, so I'm just defending myself. And it is what it is. Can you set Trick up with some equal rights over there in Jamaica? It's on his way over there. They would have love him in Jamaica. I see the girl, they would have take a piece of set from Trick, you see? Oh. <laughs> you could, oh. They would have love you, huh? Yeah. They would love you in Jamaica right now. Y'all gonna do what y'all wanna do to me. No, sir. Why am I gonna line it up? Mm -mm. Nah. Where's that, where's that can't go? Nah, let me tell you. I'd like to get eight out, too. Mm -mm. You know I'm not looking knife right now, I'm gonna cut the pork. <laughs> How you feel about that? I'm not bad. Eat for eat. Eat for eat. <laughs> <laughs> eat for eat. For eat. eat, for eat. eat for yeah, eat for eat. Nothing wrong. That's what's up. Look at this, look at that. No, the pork is... I'm surprised. I'm I mean, not gonna I'm lie. The... I'm pleasantly surprised about I'm the, this. I'm food. the real deal, baby. This food is so good. I'm not over-exaggerating. Everything you can think of, I got the best. And the grits? <laughs> That's your first time eating grits? Mm hmm Wow. I don't feel like a Yankee. They got any soul food restaurants? I got them eating grits for the first time. Mm -hmm. They got soul food restaurants in Jamaica? Not really, I don't. No. I wouldn't say soul food. Hell no, see? I mean, we do have different types of food, we have Japanese, I heard that we have Italian, we have everything, all different types of restaurants. Ain't no way I go to Jamaica and order no goddamn Japanese food. No, absolutely. The Chinese food in Jamaica is really, really good. Once you go Chinese in Jamaica, you can't go it anywhere else. Let me tell you, any girl who want you, you can cook and you love to eat. Perfect combination. Y'all heard that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. I have to be careful. I have to be careful who poop on my eat. No, of course, but any girl will get you is a lucky girl. But the girl, because the last girl who pooped my eight, I made her tongue stop her brains out. <laughs> we couldn't stop her nose from bleeding. <laughs> we have to eat for America? And she had a, the spaghetti lady. <laughs> oh my God. Crazy. If you ain't subscribed. This is cool hot spot right now. What's up with company our conversation, you know? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Mm. If you don't eat poo poo, eat it. I feel sorry for you. My special guest, Ashana, representing mm. Kingston, Jamaica. My main man, CO, it's been wonderful as usual. Until next time. Bitch, I got my thoughts. <laughs>now this is part of the show where we show y'all what we got cooking in our kitchen today i got somebody special from kingston and she bad and she trying to express herself yo aishana where you at right here how you doing we've come down the place you, 
You coming to represent for the ladies right now? Of course. Hey, I like what you're talking about, because you know over here, I don't discriminate. So <laughs> it's on you. Do okay. what you do. Okay. Let's go. You know me for represent for the ladies, right? But well, what's we'll the no? I just got started. What you think one round can do? Bump up to your forehead. Show me what your tongue can do. If you know have it in a ways, you better have it in a face. Bright enough for your look, girl, to shine you. And you know want tears. You have a clean mouth and your lips them sexy. Treat me like a buckle of Pepsi. Your back now no use and your face look cute. Be with me like a bad juice. We say equal rights and justice. No fake man keep a lot of pussies. Me pussy tight, cut up your cocky like cutlets. What if you want? Compromise more, I feel how your head feel between the ties. More I'm looking at your dreamy eyes when you watch hoop on me, boom boom, like french fries. You never hear about foreplay. I'm a darn times, no boy, relax, it's okay. If you ever bring it up in a dick group chat, you get the tree song for your birthday. Cause you have a clean mouth and your lips, them sexy treat me like a bottle of Pepsi. Your back now, no use, and your face look cute. Be with me like a bad juice. Miss a equal. Instagram. You can check me out. You can follow me on all socials at Miss Legendary on Instagram. That's M S Legendary. M S L E G E N D A R Y. I Shana Music on YouTube. That's I S H A W N A M U S I C on Facebook. It's at I Shana Music. I S H A W N A M U S I C. TikTok is well again. I Shana Music as well. Gosh. Twitter is I Shana. Yeah, everywhere. Bitch, I <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God. laughs>